Am I the arsehole? H for not giving my daughter her college fund money. My daughter is 17 and is currently in her senior year of high school. My husband and I have been saving up for her college since she was a newborn and we have almost $200,000 in the account. She recently told us that she doesn't want to do the traditional route of going to a four-year college straight out of high school, she wants to take some time off from education and get a job, and figure out if, or when at all, she wants to go to school. This was fine to me, I support her no matter what path she decides to take. However, she asked if we could give her the money because she wants to buy a new car amongst other things. I told her no, because if she does choose to eventually go to school, I still want there to be money left in the account, so I'm going to hold on to it for a bit longer. She says that she is entitled to the money because it was meant for her, and she should still be able to have it even if she doesn't want to go to college. Am I the asshole? H. If it's for college, it's for college. If she chooses not to go, then you can decide what to do with it as it's your money. It's not her money. Not the asshole. Called at college funds for a reason. Not the asshole. I'm thinking not the asshole. Now it's the car but next it could be clothes, makeup, traveling. Five years later she is broke and without a plan. She says she's entitled at least she recognizes that. Not the asshole. Period. Not the asshole. This college fund is a gift for a purpose. Not the asshole. I actually really respect not forcing college on kids, it really fucked me up. But the money you saved is solely for college, not for cars or nails or partying, and that's that. Not the asshole H. It was meant for educational purposes, not for her to go on a shopping spree. Not the asshole it was never meant to go to her, it was meant to go to a college she chose. She chose no college at this time so there is no money at this time. Not the asshole. Most college funds insist on the money being used for school or it gets plowed back into the parents account. Tell your daughter you are holding on to the money for college or until she turns 25. At that point, if she has a different career, you may help her with a house. But make sure you have what you need for retirement. Lol just because you set money aside for her doesn't mean she is entitled to have it. You set it aside for her college. If she decides not to go, then you decide what to do with your money. Not the asshole and I'd have done the same. Not the asshole. She isn't going to university, you know that right? She will spend it all and want more. Not the asshole it's not her money it's your money and you get to decide how it's being used, college or otherwise. It's not like she saved the money on her own. She's being an entitled brat. Absolutely not the asshole. That's a college fund and not a jumpstart her life fund. Besides she may change her mind about college in a few years. Not the asshole. It's called a college find for a reason. And handing over 200k to a 17 year old isn't asking for trouble, it's demanding it. Her parents had the foresight and perseverance to save up a huge sum for an education, something people that are a lot less privileged could only dream about. And she complains about this beautiful gift you've given her the ability to have your college paid for you. That is entitlement and you should nip it in the bud. Natar. Not the asshole. Proven your daughter is not enough mature for her age. She absolutely is not entitled to a penny of this money. You and your so saved it for college. If she isn't using it for college then it isn't hers. If you want to hold it until she's say 25 or 30 and still doesn't want to pursue college you could give some or all of it to her to purchase a house or invest in a business. It was never meant to be her fun money. Not the asshole. If you have it in some sort of college fund like a 529, she can't really really use it for whatever she wants. It's meant for education. Not the asshole. It's a college fund. For college. Of course she hasn't a right to use it for anything else. This is an easy not the asshole. 
529s are specifically marked for education, and comes with tax burden if not used for that while being a full-time student I believe. If she's working maybe offer a tiny portion for a down payment on a used car and let her make payments. But not access to the money overall. Not the asshole. She's not entitled to your money. It was put aside for college no college no money it's that simple. I'd be clear the money is for college and college only and if she never chooses to go then you will use it for you and your husband. Natar. It's a college fund, it's for college. Natar. It's a college fund, not a toy fund. She can use her part-time job to save and buy a car. She just wants to blow $200,000 and look like she's rich on social media for a bit until it runs out and she comes back with her hand out. Not the asshole you set it aside to pay for college, not for her personal use. She's entitled to the money for college. Period. It wasn't the future gap year, get a car, chill out and find myself fund it's a college fund. No you're not the asshole. I respect your parenting and the fact that you saved this money for her. Stay strong. Not using dedicated education funds for finishes but I'd match dollar for dollar every penny she saved working in her gap year. She can buy a car then or go abroad for a summer. Or whatever. I'd sure give her a year's grace to figure out her plan. But I don't have to bankroll it. She's about to learn some good life lessons, the first of which is don't spend other people's money. Not the asshole. A college fund is for um. College. Now, if she went down the trade school route and needed money for equipment, sure. A new car and being entitled to the money which is yours, just saved for her education nope. 